Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing great because I am, as you guys can see, I'm doing fantastic. Okay, thank you for asking. Yeah, talking about asking, I asked you guys on Instagram and on YouTube to ask me questions because I'm in the mood for an honest Q&A. So you guys sent me questions which I'm going to be answering in today's video, okay? So let's just jump right into it, okay? Do you like your husband's job that takes him away from home often? And for a long time, first of all, I got so many questions. I think I might divide this Q&A and I'll answer all the YouTube related questions in a different video. And I'll answer, which other one did I even get safe? I think someone about finances. Okay, so I'll do finances separately. I'll do YouTube separately. Then I'll, this one is just general, you know, my life, my family and all of that. Okay. Yeah. So it, the question is, do you like your husband's job that takes him away from home often and for a long time the answer is not that straightforward okay because i won't say i hate the job right i won't say i hate it because i mean it is providing for us that's number one okay <laughs> we can't all afford to do what we love and have all the circumstances of you know our jobs be favorable to us some people have to do jobs that are less than optimal or less than ideal to make money and it's okay okay it's part of the labor it's part of you know the cost of adam <laughs> yeah it's providing for us so i won't say i hate it um i would say i wish it was different okay i wish it was different like i don't hate it but if it was different i would have been happier right okay i'm even used to it right because he has been doing this job before i met him he has been going out of state and all of that we had a long distance relationship and then when we got married we weren't you know we it has always been like this so i'm used to it okay so it's not really that bad but because of my kids now sometimes i wish that he was around more often but we try to make it work we do video calls all the time we try to talk as much as possible and then when he's around he makes the most of it okay so yeah it's what prepared you for parenting did you read any books or resources no not really i didn't read any book Part in particular, but I used to do a lot of research online about parenting. Okay, that is taking care of a child, not parenting in terms of, you know, other aspects. Okay, but I was doing it in terms of taking care of a child. I was actually doing a lot of reading. I was on a lot of forums. I was, yeah, basically getting my PhD in parenting online. Okay, so I didn't read any specific books, but I just learned from the internet and from the world by observing other parents observing my own parents looking at things that they did that i liked and looking at things that they did that i did not like or i think that did not work for us so i try to not repeat those things with my kids even though it's hard some things that you didn't like your parents doing you're going to see yourself doing them as well it is just life right but at the end of the day we just try our best and we you know make do with what we have how is your spiritual life after your sister's video have you improved are you still struggling thank you i got these questions a lot okay and i'm going to make a video where i give an update about that but i'm still working on it that's the short answer i'm still working on it what are some of your hobbies or interests that you have some of my hobbies my hobby right now is watching <laughs> watching crime videos i don't know i'm tired of it i i, I think i need to stop but I like watching, I've always liked detective movies, true crime, you know, crime kind of uh, movies, you know, thrillers. I've always loved movies like that because I like to play detective. I like to understand human behavior. Let us figure out who did it. Who, let us figure out who the uh, culprit is. Let's figure out, okay, what exactly happened in that relationship or whatever. I always, I've, always been, I've always been that kind of person. So right now my hobby is watching things like that. But I want to get into one hobby right now. I want to get into painting, okay? Yeah, I want to get into painting. I have paint, I have paint brush, I have canvas. Oh yeah, start now, no time. But I want to get into painting. Like I want to start creating art pieces just for myself, for decorative purposes and for relaxation purposes, okay? So, yeah. Uh, so that's an interest that I have. It's not yet a hobby, but it will soon become a hobby. Um, how are you doing mentally and physically? I can understand that motherhood can be tiring. <sighs> how am I doing mentally and physically? I think I'm doing okay. Physically, not so much. Physically, not so much. Physically, I could lose like 50 kg. Maybe not 50 kg, but I, can, I, I should, I need to lose like 30 kg, okay? So physically, I'm not doing so well. I get a lot of headaches. I get a lot of health-related issues. Not serious health issues, but more like health-related, not being healthy kind of related issues, okay? So I could be doing better physically, but mentally, I think I'm okay. Mentally, I'm happy. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not, 
uh, I'm not worried about anything right now. I am not struggling mentally with anything. Um, I think I have learned over time to control what I can and forget about what I cannot, right? I've learned that over time. My has told me several times. So I think it's beginning to now sink in more now that I should just Whatever you can control, control it. Whatever you cannot control about, you cannot control. Stop worrying about it, okay? Because your worry is not going to help it. So what are you worrying about? Your worry is not changing the situation. You are only making yourself more stressed, more ugly, more, more everything, <laughs> you know? So, and then if you can do something about it, then do something about it and stop worrying. So at the end of the day, mentally, I feel like I'm okay. I'm in a good space. I, I, there's many things I want to achieve that I've not yet achieved, but it's not like it's bothering me that much. My kids are good. My family is good. Like I'm fine. <laughs> this person is asking, does your husband have a mother? Mm, yes. Yeah, so I, I, I don't get the question, but yes, he has a mother. Oh, please. Okay. Maybe you are asking if his mother is alive or something. Yes. His mother is alive and well and great. Okay. Um, we went to see her in December. Okay. So I did not film it because like I've said a million and hundred times, my in-laws are quite private people. So I'm not going to go and start bringing them on my channel or talking about them on my channel. Okay. So yes, he has a mother. Cause I got a question a lot about what about your in-laws? Why don't you do things with your in-laws? Why don't you travel with your mother-in-law? Why don't you? I'm just like, I don't, I, I, couldn't leave me now. Don't, <laughs> don't think that because someone else is doing something that means I will not do the same thing just to please you guys or something no i'm not going to do it okay so In, what are your thoughts on the annie and two-faced situation i wanted to make a video about this okay but i can't get myself to watch that young and african uh, series or whatever it is reality show I, I can't get myself to watch it that's just the truth that's why i haven't made a video about it but yeah um my thoughts on it is annie laid her bed so she should lie on it yeah what's she crying for what she you are there with the guy for something and you're getting what you're there for so Collect it and just allow us here hear what I beg. When you're collecting the thing you wanted, you don't need to involve us. So when things now go south for you, you're not going to start crying on TV. No. When you're collecting what you wanted, you don't need to involve us, okay? We, I think we exaggerate what love is. People make it look as if oh, love is what... Human beings are not capable of that kind of love that people are talking about, okay? Human beings are not capable of it. Okay, so Annie is not there be solely because of love. That's just the truth. You can love somebody without being there. So the reason why you're there is for something. And you're guessing that, and that's why you're still there. Not a question, but to be honest, I love how sincere you are. Thank you. One can tell you are a honest... You're an honest person. Thank you. Um, I got so many compliments as well. Thank you guys so much for all your compliments. You guys are just the best. Like, you know how to gas somebody up. Like, you can gas, you gas me up a lot. <laughs> so, but yeah, I know it's not gassing up. I know it's just what you guys feel. So, thank you guys so much for all the compliments. I really do appreciate it. God bless you. Okay. Someone is asking, how do you keep your home clean? Am I the dirty one here? I pay people to do it. So, we have a cleaner who comes and cleans the whole house every single day except sunday okay so basically i have enough hands to keep my house tidy but even that is not enough okay even that is not enough now i have to employ my kids as well okay because as long as you're old enough to tell me what you want i'm old enough to tell you what i want as well okay <laughs> you're old enough to hear what i want from you as well so ever since Cora now said tell me mommy i want this and i'm like if you want it you go and clean okay so anyway my point is that my children are now old enough to help out to an extent so i give them places to clean i would like to know how many times you feed your children after school and what kind of foods did you feed them with ah my dear i know why you're asking this question because sometimes it's as if kids eat a lot it's like they're eating all the time i'm like people don't have break in fact it's my husband i used to point it out to me that no it's not time for dinner so why are they eating now? I'm like it's true actually it's not time for dinner so why am i telling you to go and take you know what you want to eat okay so after school typically when my kids come back after school they have their lunch, okay, even though they take food to school, but the food they take to school, they eat it around 11 or something. Before they leave for school, they eat just cereal in the morning. Then when they get to school, around 11 or something, they eat their breakfast or brunch, that's what I'll call it, okay? Then around maybe like past one, they now eat their school snacks. Then when they come back, they now eat their lunch. So it's usually normal food, rice, beans, you know, spaghetti, and then after that, sometimes I give them snacks, okay? When they're bored or we have snacks in the house or something, I give them snacks. So it can be cookies, biscuits, it might be just Ribena or any other juice. It might be fruits. They take fruits to school anyway. In fact, they stopped, because of it, I stopped giving them biscuits to take to school. So they take fruits to school now, compulsory. 
And why I give them fruits to school is that um, because at some point at home, they used to eat, they must eat biscuits somehow, one, one way or the other at home. So let school be for fruits alone, okay? So that's basically what they eat and they now have their dinner. So that's it. But sometimes somebody will be bored and say they are hungry around, let's say, 5.30. I'll now say, go and give the person golden moon. And then, before you know what's happening, it's already 7 o'clock, time for dinner. So why did they eat the golden moon by that time, you know? So good question. Someone is asking, what do you think your husband will do if he was in Will's shoes? My husband is not going to do nothing. He's not going to go anywhere. He'll probably laugh. And I'll probably laugh too, okay? <laughs> and if it's not funny to me, and if him too sees that it's not funny to me, he will not laugh. He'll just keep a straight face, but he's not going to go and meet anybody. He's not going to fight anybody, okay? The worst my husband will ever do, if I really think about it, the worst thing I'll say, oh, my husband will react. The, the worst he will do is to talk to, you know, Will Smith. Like, say, I mean, talk to Chris Rock. Like, maybe after the whole show, he can walk up to him and say, guy, I didn't like what he said about my wife. Don't try it again. She's not, you know, she keep her, her name out of your mouth and stuff like that. That's what my husband would do. My husband is not someone that is violent. He's not someone that is, you know, uh, physically violent at all. Like, at all. He's someone that likes to just be calm and on his own, in his own lane, Okay. Uh -huh. So, but when you now come and touch him or touch his wife, that is when you will now see a side to him that you do not know. Because whenever <laughs> I've seen that side to him before, and to be honest, I was scared. Though. I was like, this guy, if he keep us, you know, yeah, someone tried to try us, and then his reaction was like, whoa. But that was because the person was getting physical, right? But if you're not getting physical, you can say anything. You can say anything. It's like my mom just looking at you, like, okay, are you done? Come and be going. Someone is asking, do you ever think you go back to working at a bank? No, I don't think so. But never say never. But I don't think so. I pray not to. But never say never. Maybe I can go back as an ED, as the owner of the bank or something, you know, great like that. <laughs> but as a marketer, as a staff, an ordinary staff, eh, I don't think so. Biko, God, please don't allow it for me. Biko. Okay, what app do you use in editing your IG videos? I use CapCut. I also use Final Cut. And I also use Hillstream Express. But for right now... Especially videos that I film on my phone, I use cap cuts for it. How did you manage when you first left your job? Please tell us the struggles and how do you blow on YouTube? Hey, have I blown on YouTube? Hmm. Yeah, you people should stop ascribing blowage to people that have not blown anywhere. Like, <laughs> I have not blown on YouTube, please. Okay, that was a prayer. But how did I manage when I first left my job? I, I managed how I managed. It wasn't that difficult for me because my husband was already supporting me. So I didn't really have, it wasn't that much of a conflict for me. And I didn't like my job when I was doing it. And I also, again, I like staying at home. I like, you know, I'm, I like being at home. So it wasn't a problem. I wasn't missing, oh, I feel like going out. I want to go anywhere. I wasn't missing out. I wasn't missing the outside world. I wasn't missing social events or social interaction. In fact, I became more of a recluse after I left my job and I was loving it. Okay. So I didn't really, it wasn't really hard for me to adjust. I just had to find things to do to keep myself busy. So um, thankfully for me, I got pregnant Im immediately after, basically. In fact, immediately, the month I left my job was when I got pregnant. So, I got pregnant immediately after. So, um, I, I had something I was working towards, which is my, my first child. So, I wasn't so bored. I was busy arranging stuff, you know, clearing stuff, buying stuff, shopping online. I shopped and shopped and shopped, <laughs> you know, shopping online, getting things ready, reading more about, you know, her... I even tried to do online masters at some point. In fact, I've done a lot in this life. I was always doing something anyway. So I wasn't like bored, bored, or I wasn't struggling. And financially, like I said, my mom was supporting me. So I wasn't really missing my job. Okay. I keep telling people how I saved more money when I was a stay at home mom than when I was working. Okay. And that's because I wasn't going anywhere. So the money my mom was giving me, you know, for my upkeep, I was just saving most of it. Okay. So how do you do it? Handling all your kids and not feeling overwhelmed plus being a YouTuber? Um, personally, what helps me a lot is my husband. He's very supportive. So whenever my husband is around and I am overwhelmed, I just, I just dump everything for him. I'm like, dude, I can't do this anymore. He himself used to know. He used to know when I'm getting to that stage, you know, so he would just quietly carry his children before this woman will, will, will finish his children. <laughs> He would just quietly carry his children. I can tell that he's doing, especially when I start shouting, when I get to that stage where I'm so overwhelmed and I'm, and I'm shouting. The way my husband used to do the children is almost like, let's just leave that woman alone, okay? Just come, I love you, okay? That's how I used to do that. 
I don't know if I've told him this before, but it's very, it's very cute to see or very funny to see. He now becomes this very caring dad, which he is on a normal day, but it now becomes more whenever I am heated or I'm not in the mood or I'm angry or whatever. The way he will now carry his children, give them snacks, make sure they're fine, like, like just leave that woman, okay? Yeah, so my husband helps a lot. Then having help at, as well helps a lot. Elizabeth is fantastic with my kids. Like, you know, it says sent from heaven. God literally just carried Elizabeth and sent her to my house to come and help me. So, yeah, I, I, I don't get to that stage where I'm so overwhelmed that I cannot take it anymore. What I even do as well is um, lock myself up in my room and watch some series, do something nice for myself, go out. When my kids are in school, I go out, go shopping, do retail shop, do, do retail therapy, eat good food and stuff like that. So I always find a way. It has never gotten to a stage where I can't take it anymore. It hasn't gotten to that stage yet. And, and it's going to get to that stage in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What was your worst relationship experience as a teenager and how did you handle it? I love you and your family. How... And how you give your girls I, attention, ideal mom. Thank you so much. But I get I get a little bit, I don't know, somehow when you call me ideal mom, perfect mom, things like that. No, I'm not perfect though. I'm not ideal though. I'm just trying my best though. I'm not ideal at all. Just telling people in advance. Now, so that tomorrow when you hear that I did something, you'll not say, hey, how dare she? I'm a human being though. I'm not ideal at all, okay? But I try my best. So my worst relationship as a teenager is... I was in a relationship with a guy that was way, way, way older. Okay. Now that I'm older, I'm like, how did I even agree? How, how was that even a thing? Like, looking back, I'm like, nah, man, that was terrible. That was really, really bad. So, I was in a relationship with a guy that was way older. And looking back now, there was a lot of grooming there. There was a lot of manipulation. There was a lot of power imbalance. Okay. There was the guy was creepy. That's just the bottom line. Okay. I don't go into details, but the guy was creepy AF. Um, yeah, yeah, the guy was creepy. Now that I'm older, I now understand what I was really into then, but not like I was really into it though. But the situation I was in is my point, right? So look here, it's not bad for a lady to be in a relationship with a guy who is way older, okay? But it depends on the age of the lady, right? So, a lady who is 30, being in a relationship with a guy who is 45 or 50 is not a problem, okay? If, if, he, if he agree you, if he agree you do, please do, okay? But a lady who is 16, 17 or 18, I was about 17, 18. A lady who is that age, being in a relationship with a guy who is 30-something, that is terrible. That is bad if you ask me. Okay. So, yeah. <sighs> you guys have talked enough. And I'm hungry. <laughs> but I can't eat because of my teeth. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next episode. Bye, guys.